every time I walk into this room, I'm like, like I want to stay in here because I love it so much and I don't really feel that way about many spaces. This print was actually the basis of it. Yeah. So we loved the sage and we wanted to incorporate that and the orange as well. You, you wanted it more like a bar, right? Yeah. He keeps being like, really want a cocktail in the bedroom. Yeah, I'm that's like, like my, my biggest thing is to like sit <laughs> in Weird. the bedroom and have a cocktail. So I guess it was like that feeling of it feeling eclectic yeah. and stuff being curated, but not too like museum-y. I do remember arguing about the length of where we started oh, the yeah. print on the curtain. We've got um, a dog bed made in the archive by Sanderson Design print, which is outrageous. Funny enough, every time I walk into this room, I think we've made the perfect decision. I think in a spare room or a guest room, mm. you want it to feel inviting and not too sparse. Yeah, and one of the initial starting points for this room, I guess, were the curtains and they're called Mild May. And one of our favorite pubs is called the Lady Mild May. Something that we've never had before in the house is a pelmet. It's quite traditional. We dived into the archive by Sanderson Design because it allowed us to look back at those like old, iconic prints. First guest in this room is my mother arriving tomorrow and I know what she's gonna say. Oh my God. Oh my God. This room has been on many different journeys. I love it.